All right, we've been talking about this. Can you believe there have been 36 seasons of the hit CBS show Survivor? I've seen every one of them. Tonight kicks off 37, and if you need a reason to watch, other than for the competition, a local woman is on the show, and CBS 17's Michael Hyland is with her now, and he joins us live from Chapel Hill. Michael. And Marius, just like you, I'm a super fan of the show as well, so really exciting to get to talk to one of the castaways from the season premiere tonight. This is Dr. Allison Raybould. She was in residency at UNC <laughs> when she got picked to be on the show, and so she's here to tell us about the experience. So how did you get interested in Survivor, and why did you think you had what it take to win? So credit goes to my family for being interested in Survivor. My mom is a longtime fan, and then all my siblings sort of started watching, and I said, hey, I want to be involved in this conversation. Came back from Millennials versus Gen X, and Adam Klein is a spectacular winner. It's a spectacular season, and I just felt compelled to go on this show. I think that I have sort of two callings in this life, and one is to be a physician and to deliver excellent medical care, and I'm bound for cancer, for oncology. But the second was to play Survivor, and I didn't even realize it until one day I came home from the MICU. I was 30 hours post-call. I hadn't slept a wink, and I said, I need to play this game. And then I applied. And you got on. So and I got on. You get out there and you find the premise of the season is David versus Goliath. The underdogs versus the people who seemingly have all the advantages in life, and you're on the Goliath tribe. Do you say to yourself, okay, yeah, that sounds right? No, no, no. <laughs> I protested, and I think Jeff even mentions that I protested greater than anyone else. Because to me, this title of Goliath suggests that you've had this upper hand, which that was his point. But I felt like it somehow reduced my accomplishments in life to say I didn't work hard. I was given a silver spoon and given everything. But you don't get to be a doctor without a ton of hard work and a lot of blood, blood, sweat, and tears. Sometimes literal patient blood, sweat, and tears. But that is what it took. And I didn't want to have that discredited. Also, I wanted to be the underdog that everyone roots for. You know, it's that's not... one of the big challenges here. Is naturally that's who we root for. Yeah. So going this saying it, you may not be the tribe everybody likes. Right, exactly. I don't want to puff out my chest and say this is how great I am. I want to say root for me because I'm the scrappy underdog. I only got a few seconds, so I want to ask you. We're going to see in the first episode tonight when you guys get there, a cyclone comes through. Yeah. How difficult was it just dealing with the weather out there on top of everything else you're dealing with? Uh, the weather was the greatest kind of physical threat to the game because we faced the. Cyclone Cyclone, and it was no joke. We are in a bamboo shelter as rain, wind was pouring through, and you're already having a hard enough time. Add being continuously cold, wet, it is going to be miserable. All right, so we're at Tobacco Road in Chapel Hill. We're going to be watching with our friends and family tonight. We're going to talk to Allison a little bit more, and coming up at 11 after the show, we'll give you some more insight on what happened while she was out filming Survivor.